as this morning is Mr. Bean. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Good How morning, do you Dr. do, Mr. Bean? Good morning. Bean. I'm alive and well. Ah, that's a good place to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great for us to be here. You know, we really do look forward to our Monday morning appointment with you. We're together. We sit at the feet of the master, as it were. Mm -hmm. Ready to receive whatever he desires to release, whatever is on his timetable, whatever is on his schedule for us this day. The word of the Lord to us is necessary. It's vital. The word of the Lord to us is what we need. We need his direction. We need his correction. We need to know the route that he's taking us on. So together, we remain locked in together during the next few moments until our hour is up, waiting to receive, waiting to learn, waiting to grow, waiting to know. We are from the House of Friends of Jesus International, and our program is entitled Communicating Thoughts from Heaven. I'm Pastor Margaret, and with me are Prophet Anthony and, of course, <laughs> Prophet Sandy. Good morning, gentlemen. How do you do today? Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, Very good. And good morning, Dr. Bain. Good morning <laughs> to you, Chief. <laughs> good morning to you, Trinidad and Tobago, and all those of you wherever you are this morning. It is always a pleasure to share your space this and every Monday morning as we continue to hear God's thoughts towards us as a nation, as a people, individually and collectively. And this morning is no different. We look forward to Hearing all that God has in store for us, you know, it's always nice to know what God is saying to us. We serve a God who speaks, a God who desires to communicate with us always and position us accurately in every time and in every season. And I trust that this morning that all that God says to us, would, we would allow it to do just that, to position us in the way that he desires us to be positioned mentally, spiritually, and otherwise. Amen. Grace and peace to you, Trinidad and Tobago. I feel the presence of the Lord already. Oh, <laughs> wow, wonderful. this is great. This is great, Lord. This is great. And I trust that in your home, wherever you are, under the sound of our voices, that this wonderful presence that I'm feeling so strong here is filling your space in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We come to you this morning from uh, His Majesty, the King. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the ruler, the one who said, all authority is given to me in heaven and in earth, and to God, the Father, for Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes. And it is an honor to be a part of the new creation in Christ Jesus, to do what is good, mm. created for good works. God's design before time began, that we should walk in that. And so to the King Eternal, Immortal, oh, Invisible, yes. the only wise God, yes. belongs yes, praise oh, and honor, yes. glory, power, glory strength, glory. and dominion. And yes, Father, so we thank you for this wonderful day today, yes. Lord. Yes. Lord. Bless your glorious thank name. You are the ruler of the nations of the yes. earth. Yes. Wow. There's no God like you. You're oh, perfect in all of your ways. Yes. We thank you for your heart yes. and mind, for the understanding. You've given to us what you've opened our eyes to see, yes. what you've opened our ears to hear, and how you're teaching us by your wisdom to walk in what you've shown to us. Blessed be your name. Thank you for this moment in time. Yes. And thank you for positioning us where we are. Father, it's an honor. We bless your name and we're here to communicate your thoughts and your mind to the glory of your wonderful name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So Trinidad and Tobago, um, last week, Monday, we shared with you some things that we believe the Lord has shared with us. Um, as you know, that we are in our time of, our annual time of prayer with fasting for our beloved, blessed nation of Trinidad and Tobago. And the nation that God said is a beacon to the nations of the earth. And we come to the privilege to be a part of what God is building in this nation. We know that we aren't the only ones. There are many of us here. And it's a wonderful thing to know that many of our brethren are also on the same path as we seek to advance the cause of the Lord. As God seeks to advance his cause through us in the nation of Trinidad and Tobago. So 
we continue to listen to the sound that is coming from heaven concerning uh, our nation of Trinidad and Tobago. And last week, Thursday, um, when we came together to pray for the nation, we would listen to the Lord and, and inquire of the Holy Spirit as to the things He wanted to zero in on. So we're not praying based on, okay, we heard this on the news or this person say this and say that, and so we come together and pray. No, we don't pray like that. We allow the Lord to give us understanding. Why we do that? Because He has perfect understanding as to what is needed and what should be uh, the request that we bring before Him. And I felt that he, uh, He's leading us in such a strategic way and, and pointing in certain directions and things that we would not have even thought about, um, He would bring to our understanding and show us the need for uh, those things. And so we, he, he brought our understanding on Thursday, the things that we should pray for. Some of the things I can share with you because of the, uh, the delicacy of them. So um, what I can share, I will share, but what uh, the other things we just need to just intercede on, uh, on those things, for those things. Um, but this was very interesting because what he shared with us on, on, on Thursday, I felt the release to say to you this morning because a prophetic word um, came uh, even while we were praying and I was uh, instructed to release it. So to those of you who would have already visited uh, the YouTube page, um, our, our Facebook page, you would have already heard it. Um, but for those of you who haven't, I trust that you would visit the page and you would hear exactly what the Lord said to us. Um, and to just um, some highlights of the things that he told us on Thursday, Thursday go on, is that there is a, a coming um, worldwide economical shaking that is going to impact all the economies of the world. Uh, but prior to that, um, he began to speak to us about Trinidad and Tobago. And the first thing he showed me was the pillar. I saw these pillars. And as I began to look at them, he said, these pillars are, are, are pillars of investment um, that the nation has made um, that is designed to upkeep the economy of the, the nation of Trinidad and Tobago. Well, all these are new things that are pillars of investment. And he said he called them pillars because the nation depend on these investment. So I continued to look at the pillars and I saw uh, a few of them was fragile. Inside of them, they were uh, as if they can collapse, and, but the, the others were strong. And I, I continued to watch He made me to see into them because out, outwardly it, it kind of looked good, but inside of it, as if, as if it, it's, it's not solid. There was no solid uh, solidity there. And he said to me, there's a need for the, um, the investors or the team of uh, investors, <clears throat> excuse me, who are working on, on our behalf as a nation. There's a team of people. Now, these are things that are new to me. I have no natural knowledge of these things. Okay, so all I'm saying to you is what I heard him say. I don't have any natural knowledge of these things. No one has told me anything. I don't know anything in the natural. So he said there's a team of investors who um, work on the nation's behalf to make uh, wise investment uh, and stuff like that. So these investors, there's some investment that has been made, um, but the organization in which those invest, on which those investments were made, he began to show the fragility of those organizations and that um, because these investments are pillars and we need them to, to stabilize the economy of the nation of Sri and Tobago, um, some of these organizations aren't stable. And I felt like the Lord is, has spoken to us to pray for divine wisdom to be given to those persons who have to um, <clears throat> interface with um, other investors in regard to wise investment, that divine wisdom would be given to them so that they would not just see what looks good on paper, but they would have the wisdom of God to look beyond the paper and see into the structure of those places or those companies or those organizations uh, before uh, certain investments uh, are made. 
And so the, we would witness here in Trinidad and Tobago uh, where we as a nation would be pulling out of certain investments. Okay? Because the, the structure of those organizations are not solid. And Holy Spirit saw that. And he knows if we remain in those investments, it is going to affect the economy in the coming years. And so what began to happen is that there is a stirring happening within the persons who are responsible for making those investments. And the Lord is showing them, we need to pull out of this. We need to come out of here. And even though there may not be any outward sign that shows the, this, these organizations are not strong for us to invest uh, the, 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 what we're investing uh, in them. They are not strong. And you're feeling that uneasiness on the inside. The Holy Spirit said to you, it is divine wisdom giving you a sense of unease. And so the Lord is going to make a way for you to retract, to, to pull out, to come out of those uh, investments. There's going to be an open door through which you can move the investment away from those because you're going to witness in the years to come that those places, those, those organizations are going to crumble. They are not strong. They are not strong. They are not, they are not something that we can depend on. We can rest the, the pillars of the economy on. So there's a shift in coming on those things. So I, I know by the spirit that there are those of you listening to me this morning and you are part of that negotiation team that goes and negotiates with others in terms of the investment. So what is going to happen with us as a nation in terms of our investment in different organizations is that as of as from now on, investments are going to be more solid, more stronger. Um, there is going to be better organization. There is going to be a depth of, of wisdom uh, flowing through this team of people who are working and seeking investment for the nation. A dimension of wisdom that is going to be amazing. Um, there is going to be, I mean, it's, it's just going to be amazing. But it is important for you to know that this wisdom you're going to be walking in is not your own wisdom because it has been breathed into you by the Lord, and he wants us to know that. So those, those fragile um, places where investment has been made, I don't know how long they were there, I don't know who made them, but it doesn't matter. That, that is not the point, who made them. What is important, the Lord said, is that we remove our investment from those particular areas, um, and it is going to happen, okay? Uh, so that um, when those organizations collapse, we will not lose anything. So we're going to get out of that before these things happen. And so others who would not see the reason for pulling out the investment from those places, and may even talk about it and say it's not a wise decision, in the years to come, they would understand that the decision was the wise one. Because the Holy Spirit understands all that is happening economically across the nations. Um, also, he tells us that there is this worldwide economical shaking coming to the nations. And it's going to impact every economy of the, all of the nations. But for Trinidad and Tobago, he has allowed us to know, and based on the way he has directed us, he directed us to pray, um, Trinidad and, Tobago, Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago's economy will stand strong in the midst of the global economical shaking, and it will remain strong after the global economical shaking, unlike other nations' economy would be adversely affected by this shaking coming. And then he turned my eyes to the Middle East, and there's a, a, a conflict that suddenly began to happen. It's almost like overnight. And I saw missiles flying over the place. And I saw um, oil tankers being um, unable to move from one port to the next. And it, it was busy in the Middle East. Busy, busy, busy. But while all of that is happening, um, the whole set of things stirring around the globe 
in the atmosphere. It's almost like confusion. But in the midst of all of that, this is what the Lord said to us as a nation. He said that he's breeding a pattern, he's breeding patterns and structures into us. And these structures and patterns he's given to us are not structures that we have imported from any other nation, but what he has breeded in us. And other nations now are going to be looking at us and will be gleaning from uh, the structure and the patterns that we have and will seek to implement them in their own affairs in other nations, nations that we will consider as superior to us in terms of their wealth, in terms of their size. Um, but they're going to be looking at this little Trinidad and Tobago. These people are able to, to, to structure such and such in such a way um, let us get some ideas from them. And so instead of us going to them for ideas, they're going to be coming to us to receive um, some understanding as to certain structures that is being built on the inside of us as a nation, as an, an economy. And it is not going to be, the credit would not be given to any other nation so that they can say, well, they import these ideas from us. And so also the Lord wants us to know that the political divides where there have been conflict uh, between different political groups and all of that, and I know people are fighting for power and want to be in position and under the political game that they, you know, that people do as politicians. He wants that whole wall, that structure to be broken down. What, what I mean by that is the wisdom, God has placed wisdom in certain persons who are on different sides of the, uh, the political divide. And so he wants us to begin to look beyond the politics and to begin to glean from the wisdom, the, the, the impartation that these persons have to make, they have a contribution to make uh, in the economy of Trinidad and Tobago. And so we would have bipartisanship type response and that's what he wants. Um, where each person, regardless of what party you align yourself to, um, you're more concerned about the stabilization and the, 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 the the prosperity of the nation as opposed to uh, you being of this group or that group. And so I felt like um, the Lord is going to begin to cause that to happen. And so persons who are very committed to spe specific <laughs> groups, I would find it um, not, um, it's not welcoming to have somebody from the other group. Hey, we are all Trinidadians, right? Okay, keep that in mind. And we're not fighting against each other in terms of trying to build a country, get the country going forward. Uh, so all of these wisdom that God has put in these persons from different groups, from the different groups within the land, he need us now to pull from the wisdom of these groups together. And if others choose to take credit, well, I did say this and I did this and I, that's all right. That doesn't matter. What is most important is a forward thrust of the nation and a preparation for generations that are coming and our, our, our success as a people fulfilling destiny. So when we, as we pray, the Lord is giving us insight into these structures and, and what is happening and what he wants and, and what he wants to fix and how things ought to be done. So this economical global shaking that is coming will not affect us. We are not going to be affected by it because of the wisdom that has been released into those persons who are responsible for making the investment. And again, I want to repeat that those uh, few places where pillars of investment that you know belong to the, this, uh, that helps to stabilize the nation have been placed, uh, have been, uh, those are going to be no more. You're going to get out of them. God is going to make the way and it's going to happen. And so the years following, you would see why we needed to pull out, okay, uh, because of what the Holy Spirit knows happening. So when we pray, as the Lord gave us understanding as to how to pray, what we need to pray for, um, he's given us further understanding as to the, the intricacy of what is happening behind the scenes. Like I said, there's certain things we can speak and there's certain things we can't speak in certain things. Again, we have to have a special team within the group of the house to deal with because of the sensitivity of it. So we are not going to be telling you everything that he reveals to us during uh, our time, but what he wants us to, to, to declare, we would. Um, so 
and I also understand some things about the Lord, that whenever he speaks to us, his words are designed to build faith, to build trust, and to take away the sense of hopelessness. The enemy brings a sense of hopelessness. But with God, he always show you that there's light at the end of the tunnel. And so when we begin to walk through uh, and begin to see these global shaking, we ought not to be afraid because wisdom, divine wisdom, is not going to be poured out, but has been poured out into the minds of those who are responsible for negotiating uh, the nation's business. Wisdom beyond your natural understanding has already been given. Just receive it, it is yours, and let's cross the political divide and get a hold of the wisdom that God has deposited in the others and move on together as a nation. I told you last week, and I want to remind you, that the, the wicked will be cut off. The Lord said so. The cleaning has begun, and it's going to take different forms. And he did not give specifics as to what are those forms. But he wanted, and again, was pleading with the wicked to turn. And if the wicked choose to continue in their wickedness, know this for surety, that you are going to be cut off. And uh, those kingpin heads, you I want to call it wicked heads, <laughs> who are positioned in the north, the south, the east, and the west, and you have the... Uh, people at your your beckon, whatever you say goes. Your days are numbered. You hear me, sir, madam? Your days are numbered. So you're not dealing with the authorities of the land. You're dealing with the authority of the earth. God Almighty. And so he's patient and has been patient as always. Long-suffering. But when he announces that and again, in his mercy, he says that there's time, but your days are numbered. If you still choose to continue to carry out your wickedness and continue the blood shedding at your hand in this nation, know this for sure, for sure, that the just king of heaven wants you to know that you are going to be cut off and your wickedness will not continue. The, the word of God said the face of the Lord is against the wicked. Against the wicked. And he wants that to be known to you. However, there's an open door. The open door is God's mercy. You can change, you can repent, but the choice is yours. But if you choose to continue, Anything nobody sees you, you have all, everything covered and wrapped up. Oh, <laughs> you can't hide from God. Where can you go from God? Any, can anybody hide from the Lord? No one can. No one can. You cannot fight against God. He can stop you in an instant. But his mercies and his grace, he don't have to go through even us coming here to tell you this, all this. This is his mercies. But if after you've heard this, you choose to continue. Be it, be it known to you this day, you are going to be cut off, and some of you, before the close of this year. But you have, you have space to, to turn. If you turn, your days will be extended. But if you choose not to, you would not be here. You are not going to be here. So, the Lord, who sees all things and has the good of the nation... Uh, in focus, in his arms, and showed us again, as I shared with you, how the nation is so protected. The purpose of the nation is in the hand of the Lord. Even though surrounded by evil, nothing can touch it. The purpose of God for the land will be accomplished. So I want to reassure you, Toronto, because yes, we will go through some, some storms and some uh, night and day and all of that, but the night will clear up, as always, the day will come, the day will arrive. And you know, in all of these seasons, there'll be wisdom, patterns, structures, understanding, strength, uh, but the nation's purpose would not be aborted. We will fulfill destiny, and the nation will be what God is destined to be. So receive the wisdom God has given. Receive the strategy and remove those investments from these places 
out as you know you know where they are you know you know exactly because in your heart has been like stirring on the inside and so nation when you hear about these things are being shifted here don't get worried oh my gosh they're moving from how could it uh, you know how we can be sometimes right okay but don't worry don't worry about that god's wisdom is upon these men who is men and women who are involved in making these these uh negotiations and, and investment in different places okay fear now fear now glory wow. to god wow isn't it wonderful to hear the voice of the Lord being released to us? The sound of God that gives us warning, that prepares us for the times that we, we've not yet seen, for things that we, we've not even been able to, to think of. When we look at situations and circumstances, we see the surface of things. But God in his wisdom has promised and he has given us a that spirit of discernment that we see beneath the surface, that we hear what is not yet spoken by humans as it were. As we lean on him and he continues to lead us, no wonder why he has us he has had us declare time and time again every week at the beginning of the nation uh, of the program sorry that this nation is a beacon yes. and we, we we really in a sense shut down all those voices that were coming against that powerful word yes this nation is a <coughs> beacon to the yes, nations of the earth yes, so for those who continue to speak negative, you're not coming against us, you're coming against God. And that too comes under the umbrella of the wicked ones. If there is no decision to turn, to speak what God is speaking and what he has spoken, you too bring yourselves in that place of detriment. Hearing the voice of God this morning again really settles us, Trinidad and Tobago. Settles us in a place of peace and in a place of rest. The voice of God causes us now to rise together and continue to speak wisdom into the hearts and minds of those on the negotiating team because they have received the wisdom that God has released and they will move forward to do the right thing as they cooperate with God. That's who our Father is. If you look at his record, from Genesis to Revelation is the same thing. He introduced himself to Moses. He says, I am the God, I'm merciful and gracious. We are experiencing the mercy of God. Every generation, coming on the scene has experienced the mercies of this living, awesome God. It's up to us to continue to work with God, to continue to declare his decree, to position ourselves in a place where we operate within the ambit, as it were, of his laws. This is what he wants and this is what we will do. We are governed by what God says. Let it be that sound in every season, in every generation. Let that be the sound that moves us. When the prophet spoke this morning about those who are the lawless ones, as it were, those who continue to do wickedness and they're thinking to themselves that, oh, they have in uh, they have positioned themselves in a, in, in a secure place because they've got uh, what it takes to, to preserve what they're doing to preserve their lives. No, no, no. <laughs> God sees and knows everything. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. The heart of every human being. He created every human being. He knows our hearts. He knows the thoughts. And he's sending again this morning another warning. We would say in our own local language, ship up, ship up, or you will be taken out. 
let us respond to the word of God. We believe that he knows best. We believe all his intentions for our nation are right intentions. We believe, Lord. We believe yes. in you. Lord, you are the God of this nation. You have spoken and we will continue to release what you have said. What a privilege it is for us and for all those of you who will make that switch and come on board. And like when he said, when he spoke about um, he has deposited wisdom in so many persons. And it doesn't matter their political affiliations. Wisdom for the nation, wisdom to yes. move this nation. So wisdom for the time. Yes. For the times, yes. yes. He's wisdom. looking at us as <clears throat> an, a, a, an entire body. He's not looking at political uh, uh, institutions, mm -hmm. no. Yes. So when God calls upon us to release into the nation in this time what he has placed in us, in each one of us individually. It is up to us to say yes to him. To agree with God is to agree with life. Prophet, you taught us that. Yes. To agree with yes. God is to yes. agree with life. Yes. And to disagree with God is to agree with death. The choice is ours. Make the right choice this morning. Yes, and you know, even in this time, God is reshaping as it were the political landscape in the land mm -hmm. and he is going to cause there to be more cooperation as it were between both government and opposition mm -hmm. and for this season that we're entering into as a nation there is going to be that need for cooperation yes. where both sides work towards one goal mm -hmm. because the nation is bigger than any mm -hmm. political party yes, it, is. Yes, yes. it is not PNM, UNC, whatever it may be, it is much bigger than that. Yes. And so God is reshaping the the mentality, as it were, around the political system that, that excludes, as it were, the knowledge that comes from a particular group or a particular yes. person, as it were. And he's now going to cause there to be that acceptance of wisdom that will flow through anyone because it is what is needed for this time and this season and so he's going to cause certain people to arise that you you may not have expected to be working with one another as it will but it's going to come in such a way that you would understand the wisdom in it mm -hmm. and you would see god's administration you would see the wisdom coming forth you would see the ideas and you would see new strategies as it will coming forth because there is now a, a free flow of wisdom mm -hmm between all those involved in leadership. Mm -hmm. And so it's important for us as, as a nation, as a people, to pray for our leaders. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not just those who are in government, but also those who are in opposition, and those yes. whom God yes. has yes. deposited yes. wisdom into, yes. that we don't reject the wisdom and the yes. knowledge that God has yes. deposited in the minds and in the hearts of those who are in our midst and think that mm, because it comes through this source, mm -hmm. nah, it can't be good. No, we must look past the the party affiliations, we must look past yes. the, the personalities as yes. it were, and all of, all of that. Yes. And we must see the wisdom that God has deposited on the inside of each and every one. Because God has placed us on this nation to be an asset to the nation. Mm -hmm. God has given special deposits to certain ones mm -hmm. that are for specific times and specific seasons and if we reject it we will be doing ourselves as a nation a disservice yes. so we must not get to that place where we exclude others even though we see that the things that they are bringing are good don't as it were as it as it would say locally cut off your nose or spoil your face <laughs> don't don't exclude anyone from that process mm -hmm. Because God is reshaping, he's reforming, yes. and he's making something in this nation that is going to be, as it were, as he described, a beacon. Mm -hmm. And a beacon is, is one that gives light, it's one that gives direction, it's one, yes. it's one that stands out. Mm -hmm. And so we're called to be a nation that stands out. And, and if in other territories they, they do things a particular way, we must not be like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We must now take on that that word that God has spoken over yes, us, yes, yes. that beacon must now come to its fullness. Mm -hmm. And part of that is reforming the way that we think about certain things yes, in our nation. Yes, yes. 
And so God calls on us as a nation, as, as those who are in positions of authority, those who are in that place where they can give access to those who have the wisdom needed for the time, that we allow it to come forth. Mm-hmm. That we give space for it to come forth and we do not reject it, but we accept it and we say, Lord, if this is you, let your will be done. I'm willing to work with whomever you've sent, whomever, whomever you've deposit, deposited wisdom into, I'm willing to work with them because it is bigger than me. It is for the good of the land. And so as we pray as a people for our nation, we must always agree with God. As Pastor Margaret said just now, it's, it's better to agree with God. When, when we agree with God, we agree with life. Yes, yes, yes. When we agree with God, we agree with everything that is good. Yes. Okay. And so God's plans, if we believe that God's plans are always right, you believe that he has perfect knowledge about everything, about the, the, the course that this nation should take in every time, in every season, then it means that we must always seek to pray according to his will. Yes. So yes. we lay aside every every other agenda and every, every other selfish agenda. Yes, every yes. other way of thinking and what we think should be and how it should be and, and who should be where we think they should be. And we remove all of those mindsets and we say, Lord, I only desire your will for yes. this nation. Yes, that's it. I only desire the people that you desire to see filled spaces of authority, yes. filled spaces of yes. governance. Yes. I only desire those people to yes. come forth. Yeah. And take their rightful positions. It, it was amazing, uh, son. It's amazing that you know we, we, we don't determine who God should use. Yeah. 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 We look at we look in the scriptures, and one of the things that, that amazes me, God uses um, use this unclean bird seemingly. We call it unclean bird. Yes. But uh, it delivered what was clean. It, it preserved the life Amen. of the man of God. Yes. Yes. And we would not have selected that. Mm. Uh, to be of any service to us mm-hmm. because we would consider it unclean. When God commands something, um, because he commanded it, mm-hmm. what it, what comes from it, yeah. what it ought to do, yeah. it's going to be clean. Yeah. And so we don't know all the ways in which, and, and, and the yeah. persons whom God yeah. listen for the wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. Listen for the wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. Because all that we need, all that we need, go ahead, son. Yes, and I, I even see there, there are some mm-hmm. people who, for a while now, there has been, as it were, all of this thing just packed up inside, all of this wisdom just packed up inside, and it, they, they know it has to come forth, but it's as though, I, I don't know who would accept it, because it's it coming from me, because, you know, all of these things, and, and God is saying, now is the time for it to come forth. God wants us to make space for those whom he has deposited wisdom into, and he has deposited all the wisdom that is needed for this time, he has deposited into those who are in the land. As Prophet said some time ago, we don't have to go outside for it, it's right here. It's right here. So he says, make space for it. And, and I'm just seeing one or two folks, and hearing your voice saying, um, but what can I do? They wouldn't listen to me and all of that. Well, um, the, there are institutions uh, such as uh, newspapers, you can invest, buy a column, and begin to release the understanding that you have, the deposit that you can make. Write it, put it there, get a column, um, give it a title, and begin to, um, wh- whether it's monthly, whether it's it's fortnightly or weekly, and begin to de- put the deposit there. People read the papers. The papers goes all over, and someone can look into what you're saying and see what, the, what this person is saying is really, and you don't know where that is going to take you. Okay, so there, there are ways in which you can do that. But for some of these persons, I'm hearing, get a column in the newspaper, give it a title, whatever title the Lord would breathe in your mind, and begin to release the understanding that you have and the solutions that you have, that you felt in your heart very strongly, that can deal with certain things, and just release it. And somebody on the other side reading is gonna pick up on it, okay? We all have deposits to make. But we're in a very, very wonderful, beautiful time. Yes. And um, the Lord told us again that the nation's purpose is preserved. Yes. In his hand, it's not in the hand of man, yes. not in the hand of any political group. Is it, is it, it is in his hands. Yes. And, but we are so thankful to know that he's working with us. I told you that he's not angry with us. He yes. said he's not angry with the nation. Mm-hmm. I told you that before. And so as he speaks to us and give us strategy as to what to do, how to pray, how to decree, 
cover all leaders, pray for them, pray for their health, pray for their family, both those who are in positions of authority and those opposition. Pray for their family, pray for their health, pray for their wisdom, pray for their protective service. Yeah. Um, those who are there to serve, they are all servants, yeah. serving us while we serve each other. It's a whole, a whole environment of servanthood, if we understand this. Yeah. It's not about who is bigger, who is up there. We are all, uh, the higher you are, the higher servant you are. Mm -hmm. Our prime minister is yeah. a servant to the nation. We are servants. All of the political, uh, uh, those in power, they are servants serving the nation. All, they, we're just serving, serving each other. Once we understand that and we begin to do what we're supposed to do the way God wants us to do it, we're going to begin to see uh, the emerging of what God has, has, has in his mind concerning us as a nation. Yeah. So to those of you who have joined us, remember, be faithful to the day that you have selected. And if you go onto our, 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 our Facebook page, you'll see some of the things that, that we felt the Lord wants us to pray about. Like, like I said earlier, there's some things that we can't share with everybody to pray for, just a special group within the, uh, the house will deal with those things uh, because of the sensi sensitivity of it. Uh, but the other things, we would, uh, some of the things will be on the Facebook page that you can look into, Friends of Jesus International, you can look into the Facebook page and then you would see the things that we are focusing on. And this will continue for the next 57 yes. days um, of this year. Yeah. Okay, while well, we intercede for our nation of Trinidad and Tobago. Thank God for those of us and, and those of you who have been praying for the nation apart from us. And nobody, no one would have heard you. You were not on the radio, you're not on television, but you're doing your part and have been for many years. Praise God, you're faithful and God bless you. And you don't have to be on air to be recognized before God. You are doing your, you're doing your duty, what God has asked you to do. You're doing it faithfully. And, and, and wholeheartedly, and, and God bless you. Thank you for your service to God and for your service to this nation and continue. We're not, we are not the only ones here praying for the nation. There are many others, and, but others will not have heard about you and they may hear about us as well. These people are doing so much wonderful <laughs> things, but not knowing that there are others probably even doing much more. And so thank you for your service to God and for your service to this nation. While we pray for our nation and speak, positively concerning the land yeah. not ne don't join with a group of negativity yeah. those who are negative and only speak what is negative yeah. and everybody this one is an enemy this one is an enemy no 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 no, no. Yeah. sometimes our own selves is our enemies yeah. okay let's focus on the purpose of god yeah. building each other speaking what is positive thinking whatever things are pure whatever things have go a good report whatever things are lovely and let us be our brother's keeper. Yeah. Let us let us thrive to, to that, okay, as a nation, and go forward in the name of the Lord. So, Father, we thank you for your word that has been released over this blessed nation. Yes. And we continue to speak into the nation that it will rise to be all that you have destined Trinidad and Tobago to be. Thank you that the economical pillars of the yes. land is strong yes, and will withstand any storm, any shaking that will come. It will remain yes. standing yes. strong. Yes. Thank you for the divine wisdom yes. you have breathed into the minds of those persons who are responsible uh, for negotiating uh, the nation's business. We thank you, O oh God. God, yes. for blessing us with all that we need. Thank you for the structure yes, that you place in our midst. Yes, Thank you for the patterns yes. you place in our midst. Yes, Thank Lord. you, oh God. Yes, we Lord. bless your holy name. Oh yes, God. Lord. Thank you for blessing this nation of yes, Trinidad the way yes, you've blessed us. Yes, to you, oh God, be honor, glory, power, strength, and dominion. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Yes. You are our God. Yes, blessed be your name, Father God. Thank you, Master. What a God we have, people. An awesome God, isn't he? Oh, glory to God. Wherever you are this morning, lift your hands to the glorious one and we bless him. Our God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is an awesome God. And he reigns. He reigns. He reigns in heaven. He reigns on the earth with awesome wisdom. Come on, bless his name this morning. Our God. Oh, yes. He reigns with wisdom, power. <laughs> Our God is an awesome God. Awesome, mighty, powerful, 
glorious, the best, most beautiful, wonderful, magnificent. He is awesome. He is yes, awesome. Sir. He is yes, awesome. Yes, Come on, bless his name. Oh, bless Lord, his holy hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Bless his holy name this Lord, morning, TNT. What a God we have. Yes. Mighty, powerful, yes. awesome, glorious. Yes. Oh, magnificent. Oh, hallelujah. He's awesome. He is indeed yes. awesome. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. I wish we had more time to just, just praise him for the rest of the next few hours. But no, we can't. We have to finish. <laughs> Mr. Bean will do it first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, glory to God. We'll turn on in Tobago. As always, it has been a pleasure being with you, being in your company. And we're here to help, to build, to strengthen, to encourage, and to say to you, have no fear. Keep your eyes on the one who is and who is powerful and who has what it takes to fulfill exactly what he says. Well, until next week, Monday, the Lord's willing, the same station and the same time, looking forward to being your company again. Let's build according to the pattern that he has laid down. Let's flow with God. Amen. Let us not reject any wisdom that God has placed in anyone for the nation. God bless you. Bless you, TNT. Until next week, Monday, the Lord's willing.